Today I'm gonna have something a little bit different. We're gonna review a speaker from LifeProof. LifeProof is a company that makes cases for the cell phones. And this particular speaker is the Aquaphonics AQ9. I know this speaker was released a couple of years ago. I've been using it for about six months here and there. And I have noticed that the price has dropped a lot. I think originally it was selling for around $90. I think Best Buy was selling them for around $80. And not too long ago, they dropped the price to about 40. Right now, you can pick it in Amazon for around $45. If you're looking for a speaker where you can take it out anywhere you go, for example, to the pool, to the beach, if you go out camping, to the trails, I think this is gonna be a good speaker and I'm gonna tell you why. Now, the first thing I wanna get out of the way, this is not gonna be the best sound speaker you can pick up. Let's talk about that. Welcome back to your channel and if you're new consider subscribing we're always making videos about the Galaxy Note phones. Sound quality is okay, sound quality is decent, it's not going to be the best but it's not going to be the worst. If you're listening to music that has a lot of bass it's not going to sound great especially if you bump up the volume to the maximum. Uh, if you're just listening to a podcast or just watching videos just want to use this as a speaker it sounds good. What makes this speaker special is not the sound quality, but all the other functionalities that it comes with. The first one is this curving air hook. Now you can hook this to your backpack, you can hook it to your pants. If you're out and about, if you're going on the trails, you can pretty much hook it in there and take it with you. You can listen to music while you go or just have it off and you carry it with you. Now another thing that I like about it is that it's pretty light. I think it weighs about, about a pound, a little bit more than a pound, but it's pretty, pretty light. Also, it is made to survive drops for about 1.2 meters. So that's something good if you are adding a button, you drop it, you don't have to worry about it breaking easily. Another thing that makes this speaker special, it is that it's water resistant, snow resistant, dirt resistant, dust resistant. It's not 100% waterproof, but it can resist up to three meters for about 30 minutes. So do you wanna go scuba diving? Definitely not with this, but if you happen to take it to the pool with you or to the beach and you happen to get it wet, then you don't have to worry about it getting damaged easily. I checked the tunnel reviews and it seems to be holding pretty good. I think I've only I saw one person mention that it got damaged after it got wet once, but everyone else seems to mention that it worked pretty good when it comes to being water resistant. You can connect it to Bluetooth, so you can pair up to eight different devices. So that means you can have it set up to a different phones for example and you can alternate which phone is sending the music through the Bluetooth technology. Now if you don't have a Bluetooth technology around where you're using it, it does come with an audio jack on the bottom so you can connect for example you have an Apple iPod Shuffle, you can connect it through the 3.5 millimeter audio jack and you can listen to music from that device directly. It will come with a cable to charge it, it is going to be a micro USB charging port when it comes to the battery life, that's something that is really great about this speaker. It was supposed to give you up to 16 hours of battery life. Now, I haven't done the tests 100%. I know a lot of people have mentioned it does between 8 12 hours. For me, I think it's been giving me around 10 to 13 hours. And that is because a lot of factors come into place. For example, how loud you play the speaker, how long you have it sitting there without using it. And for me, I haven't been able to use it for 16 hours nonstop, so it's hard to do the test. But overall, I can tell you, I left it off just sitting in the shelf for a couple of weeks. I came back and it still had a charge. On the bottom where it tells you the battery level, it has four dots. And after having it sitting for a couple of weeks, it's still holding up pretty good. It shows three dots out of four. And one other special feature is, for example, if you are on the pool and you have this next to the pool and you have it connected to your phone, someone's calling you, you can actually answer the phone call through here. It will have a speaker, of course, and it's gonna have a microphone. By pressing the play button, you're able to answer the call and it turns into a speaker phone. You can have a conversation. It's not the greatest, but it's clear enough where you can have the conversation. You can listen to it and the other person on the other side can also understand and hear you pretty clear. And when you're ready to end the call, you can just hold the play button for about three seconds and it will terminate the call. Talking about the buttons, so real quick, looking at the buttons on from top to bottom, you're gonna have the volume rockers, increase, decrease the volume, you can skip a track. It will have a button to play or pause the track. And on the bottom, you have your Bluetooth button, which you can use it to set it in pairing mode or just turn off the Bluetooth. And of course, on the bottom, you have what it looks like to be the microphone. Looking on the bottom of the speaker, you're gonna have some tabs that allow it to be more dust and water resistant. Uh, remember those ports are already water resistant. So you do have your audio jack, your charging port. On the top, you have the power button, which will be used to turn it on and off. 
You notice that there's this lever which you can swing left and right with a little lock mechanism. So what it does if you turn it to the, if you swing it to the right hand side where the lock mechanism is, you're gonna notice that it's gonna lock all the functionality. So you will not be able to accidentally press the, the play button, stop the music, or any of that. So one thing is if you do want to answer the phone call, you gotta make sure that you do unlock this mechanism first before you're able to pick up the phone call through the speaker. Buttons are pretty responsive, they're pretty clickable. They work good. You do have some LED indicator that lets you know when you press the button. Overall, it feels good on the hand. It's not super slippery. It just, I feel like the way this was designed, it just feels good, easy to carry with you, especially if you just want to have it in the hand. The carabiner on the side of the hook is not the greatest. I mean, it's working pretty good. It's pretty clickable. I know a lot of people have mentioned that it broke for them within a couple of weeks of using it. Other people are saying it holds pretty good. Some people say that it basically by accident unlocked. There you have it guys. I know this was discontinued, but maybe now in the summer you're looking for a speaker which you can take out and about. You go on a trail, you go out camping to the pool. This may be something for you to consider. Remember in Amazon you can pick them up for about $45. They do come in different colors. I think there's this black one. There's one that's kind of like a green green and a gray and also a baby blue and a gray so there's different options if you do not find them in amazon you can check out ebay i notice a lot of people are selling them in ebay new used different prices thank you for watching remember don't forget to hit the like button drop me a comment let me know if you're watching this video i always read every comment and i want to know who's watching these videos i'll see you on the next one